I'm talking about gasoline. I've thought about this for a long time. This is Jason's first tank of gas. He stopped at the Handy Hugo's and filled up. Doesn't matter how much gas he got at the Handy Hugo's, it doesn't matter that he filled up. And we learned from the um, information that Sergeant Spivey got about the uh, 2004 Ford Explorer that one of those will hold 22 and a half gallons of gas. Okay? Everybody with me so far? I get carried away, I don't go too fast. All right. We know that he headed down the road, stopped at the Cracker Barrel. Don't think anybody argues about that. Kept on going, went to the Hampton Inn. Oh, by the way, the distance between the Handy Hugo's and the Cracker Barrel is 84.8 miles. Then the distance on up to the Hampton Inn is 83.9 miles. I'm going to show you how that's important in a minute. He's still on his first tank of gas. Of course, this is Jason's version of events, and I'm trying to show you how his version of events is correct. Gets up at the Hampton Inn, he heads to um, Clintwood. He gets turned around a little bit, and then he gets to Clintwood. The actual distance between the Hampton Inn and Clintwood is 145 miles. I'm guessing, estimating, that there was 20 miles that he got lost. Um, actually, the more the better for the state, frankly. I'm trying to be fair about that. I think it's about 20 miles. You be the judge of that. He has his meeting. He stops for gas in Duffield. And we know from the receipt that he got 19.452 gallons of gas. Okay? So in that trip, on that tank of gas, he's going this distance and then this distance that distance, and then the Clint Wood to Duffield trip is 46.6 miles, which is a total, correct my math if I'm wrong, but I think that's right, 380.3 miles on 19.452 gallons of gas. That's 19.55 miles per gallon. Should have stuck in another slide that we could refer back. Please remember that number, 19.55 miles per gallon. That seems like a lot for a Ford Explorer. I'm going to grant you that. So I didn't stop there. Let's talk about his second tank of gas. He's full up here in Duffield. And he drives to the Transylvania Regional Hospital, which is 137 miles. I looked that up on Google. We stipulated that Google is an accurate um, depiction of mileage. And you can look on the map and see that that's fair. 137 miles to there. Then he went to his mom's house. It's 5.8 miles. Then he went from there to Burlington. Again, driving the Ford Explorer. And bought 18.441 gallons of gas. That leg of the trip is 217 miles. So on this tank of gas, the one he got in Duffield, he's, he's gone this route and he stopped for gas. What's the last miles per gallon? 19.55? Think about this, ladies and gentlemen. He didn't have any reason to try to be hiding any gas. He didn't have any reason to pay for any gas that day with cash or stop at some strange place. He's not trying to hide where he is on this day. And look what that adds up to. 19.51. That verifies that the gas mileage I told you that looked like it might be a little much on his trip up there is not much at all. That's what that car was getting. It was getting 19 and a half miles to the gallon. Now, here's the state's theory about the gas. We start at Handy Hugo's with a full tank of gas. We go to the cracker there. We go to the Hampton Inn. It's the same 168.7 miles to do that. We come back to the house. It's 169 miles because Handy Hugo's and the house aren't exactly the same distance from the Hampton Inn. And then we head back to the Hampton Inn to try to cover ourselves with this alibi get to the Four Brothers, which is 121 miles. That's 458.7 miles. 
on one tank of gas. Now note that he ordinarily would stop when he had, I'm going to argue to you that it's a fair assumption, it's a, it's a reasonable inference that he stops when his gas light comes on and he's hitting down towards empty. And we've seen that that's sometimes 18, 19 gallons. And think about this, if you're trying to hide yourself, you really don't want to run out of gas. You're not going to stretch it as far as you can. You're going to stop when your gas light comes on. If he used every drop of gas in that car, that's 20.386 miles to the gallon. And that doesn't seem like a whole lot more than 19 and a half until you do this math. He would have run out of gas 18.8 miles before he got there. And been sitting on the side of the road. Okay? Now, let's say by some miracle he was able to stretch his gas like that. Um, remember, there's not, they scoured the inside of that vehicle. And one of the things I believe that Agent Galloway testified to is they were looking for signs that there had ever been a gas can in there. None. All right? Well, let's just say he made it. He gets to 6.944 gallons of gas at Four Brothers. And the way I figure that is, we know it was $15 worth. This is the state's theory to remind you. That's what Gracie Bailey said. That whoever that was, the man that was a little bit taller than her, with a little bit of hair, gave her a 20, but only put $15 worth. And it was $2.16 a gallon that day. We know that. So that's 6.944 gallon. Then he's supposed to go back to the Hampton Inn. Get, do all this trip again, like we just said. Get to Clintwood. That same 165 miles. Go to Duffield and fill up with gas. So he's supposed to go 260.6 miles on less than seven gallons of gas. That's 37.53 miles a gallon. Can you keep that up there? Yes, I can. Sorry. That didn't happen. There's no way that happened. This makes it even more stark. If you give that approximate gas mileage of 19.55 miles to the gallon, he would have run out of gas 124.8 miles before he got the 